it says that I left the game, but that's not actually legitimately true. I am still here. <laughs> What's up agents, Zero here, welcome back to the lab, and today I'm going to be showing you guys three simple commands that are very useful for working inside of custom maps, and these are things that, well, maybe not necessarily I've used on a regular basis, but I do personally find them pretty useful, all things considered, I do want to go ahead and use them in the future, and I want to believe that you guys will think that these are going to be useful, at least in some manner, as well so let's go ahead and get started so let's go ahead and first start off with this command right here the tell command and some of you guys may already be familiar with this particular command but in case you're not i'll go ahead and show you guys what it does so if i click on this button it actually whispers to me that this is actually a private message and if there was another person that was on this world they would not get this message. This is directed specifically at me. So let me go ahead and show you guys what the command looks like. So this is doing tell at P, which is the closest player in this particular case, which obviously is me. You can go ahead and use this to target a specific player if you want. You are going to need their username. And then whatever the message is that you want to go ahead and use. And something that I do want to mention is that you can use this in a survival setting without cheats enabled. So this is actually a command that does not require cheats in order to use, which actually is pretty useful thing considered because perhaps you want to go ahead and give information to a specific player or players and you don't want others to go ahead and find this out. This is actually how you go about doing it, which is pretty cool, all things considered. Like I said, you do not need cheats enabled in order to have access to this command. However, that isn't actually all as far as this command is concerned. So you can use slash tell, slash message, and slash whisper interchangeably. So you can use any one of these three of your choosing and it'll do the exact same thing. Again, I imagine some of you guys were probably already familiar with this command, but I figured this would actually be pretty useful to go ahead and tell you guys because there are occasions where, like for example, you're trying to break out of a prison map and you press the button and you got special access to something specific. And this will tell you, hey, you've got access to this. And that's actually pretty useful, all things considered. I'm not gonna lie. Next up, we have ourselves the Tell Rock. I mean, this actually uh, can be used to troll other players on your world, if you really think about it. And the uh, Tell command is the only command that does not require command cheats enabled. The rest of them will, obviously. But let's go ahead and look inside this really quick before I go ahead and show you guys what it does. So it's using the Tell Rock command, obviously. You do the identifier. You put in curly brackets, quotes raw text and then and the quotes put in the colon i realize this is a pretty complicated command to go ahead and set up and i'm not done explaining it but it's actually pretty simple to go ahead and use once it actually is set up it's pretty simple to understand as well again it will take some time to go ahead and set up but yes uh, going back to what i was doing so the curly bracket raw text and then you need to put a square bracket curly bracket and then in quotes, put text, then the quotes, and then you need to put in a colon. And then you put in whatever string of text that you want to go ahead and use. In this particular case, it says agent CPU zero left the game. And here is exactly what this command block actually does as far as running it is concerned. So if I go ahead and press this button, it says that I left the game, but that's not actually legitimately true i am still here so yeah that's exactly how the tell raw command works and this actually is different from how it works on java edition however because i am technically a bedrock edition player i'm not going to go ahead and get into it this is how you would use it on bedrock edition again it does take some time to go ahead and set up manually but once it's set up it's pretty simple to go ahead and use and again it is simple to go ahead and understand so there you go and last but not least we're going to go ahead and look at the tag command and this is actually pretty simple for multiplayer settings like maybe for mini games you want to have it set so that 
only a specific player, regardless of where they are in the world, is the only one that actually gets affected by the commands. And this is what the tag command is actually for. And before I go ahead and show you guys how the command is actually set up, I'm going to show you guys the demonstration that I set up for this. So if I go ahead and press this button, it doesn't do anything. And the reason for that is because I am not tagged at the moment. So if I go ahead and click on this one, says add tag, and I go ahead and try this a second time, now it actually says that I'm tagged with the actual uh, command. And if I go ahead and click on this remove tag button right here, and I go ahead and try this again, as you can tell, it does not work anymore. So that's how it works, and it's actually pretty simple, and you can use tag on pretty much any uh, command that you want, and I'll show you guys how you actually do it. So this is actually how it works, and first off, this is obviously using the tell command, and so what you do is you put in your target, which in this case is at A, and then you put in square brackets, tag equals, and then you need to go ahead and put in whatever it is that you want to go ahead and have the tag be. In this case, I just changed it from tag to tag. I realize it's a bit confusing, but hopefully you guys get my point. But let's go ahead and look at the actual tag command itself, because that's actually useless unless you use the tag command alone, or at least in some conjunction with other commands. So this is what the command looks like. So you do tag, then you need to do your identifier, and then you do add, and then the name of the tag that you want to go ahead and use. In this case, it's tags. Again, I know this is confusing because of the way I wrote it out, but hopefully this makes some amount of sense. So that's how you go ahead and add someone to a tag list. And then last but not least, you have this one, which removes you from that particular tag list and speaking of the list if i go ahead and go under commands and i go ahead and type in slash tag and i can go ahead and go at all there is also a list command right here that you can go ahead and put in and this will tell you every single tag that is currently on the world at that moment so do keep that in mind something i did find out is that apparently if you have a com a particular tag completely removed but you still have the world open then the tag will still pre-exist until you close the world which is a bit of a problem because you don't want to use that command uh tag may potentially i don't know but i just figured i'd go ahead and mention that but other than that this is actually where i'm going to go ahead and end off the video so hopefully you guys have enjoyed if you did make sure that like button one more than make sure that subscribe button for future content also you can follow me on twitter at agencyp 0 to stay updated this has been zero studios thank you guys for watching and with that i'll see you guys later